I'm outside of Death Valley National Park at a place with a familiar name, but it's not the one you're thinking it is. Follow along as I take myself a short little hike. Greetings. Hey, I'm in southeastern California, uh, just outside the southern border of Death Valley National Park. I'm in a place called Salt Creek, but it's not the one that you're thinking of because in the middle of Death Valley National Park is a place called Salt Creek that is home to the rare Salt Creek pupfish. This one doesn't have any pupfish in it that I know of. Of it's outside the park and there's a short little hike I'm gonna take that so come on along see what this place looks like As you can see, the trail has left the riparian area and it's just up meh, out in the dry areas. Uh, going, it seems to be going around this mountain. Not sure what's down here. This trail is longer than I thought it was. There was nothing at the trailhead saying how long it was. I just assumed it was going into the riparian area. But there might be something else around the corner up here. So I'm going to keep hiking. Okay, this trail just keeps getting better and better. I was not expecting to find an old mining camp back here at the end of the trail. And here it is. 
Got a water tank back over that way. And then the mine tunnel is over here, and uh, the plaque over here says that, that it is a home for bats now. So, one benefit to mining after it's been abandoned. Okay, this is turning into quite the treat. The plaque says that this could possibly be the oldest structure in the Mojave Desert. They think it was built between 1850 and 1852. And they believe it was an office building for this mine, perhaps. And they had a picture of this place from 1950 that showed that it had a modern roof on it at the time. Now, time and people have taken a toll on it. I believe that's what's left over of a fireplace. Okay, now, there's concrete on the floor here, so I can tell you that they did not have concrete in 1850. So that must have been something that was put in when the modern roof was put on. I'm going to assume that. Like, I just was not expecting this. this. The literature at the trailhead said nothing about a mining camp. It was just talking about the wildlife refuge. And look what I find. And you may know, I am just fascinated with mining camps and ghost towns, so this is a real treat for me. Okay, I was reading another one of those plaques. They're getting very faded and it's hard to read them, but it said that in 1864 there were was a group of natives that came into the area and raided the camp and one of the miners was killed and two got away only to die later but the records were really sketchy That trail beat all of my expectations. That was a really nice trail. I was just expecting to see that little wildlife refuge down by the creek. So that mining camp over on the other side was a real treat. So if you're ever traveling on California State Route 127 north of Baker, you'll see that Salt Creek sign. Take a turn, go on, come on down and check out this trail. Until next time, take care.